Uh, it is time for Wine Wednesday. Mario from Corks and Perrysburg joining us this morning with this week's tasty selection. Hey guys, hey, Mario. Good John. morning. I'm trying We're to scarf down that, that popcorn. Good to be here again. Um, have some. I'm really excited about this morning. Actually, I have some decent wines this week that uh, I'm going to be showing with our wine tasting as well. Cool. And uh, first one we have is a Cote de Rhone Gigal. Um, it's a white blend, and it's actually mostly Viognier. Uh, it also has Barsan, Roussan, uh, Berbalac, and Claret, uh, which Quite we haven't had that before. Yeah, very nice crisp wine, good light color. Um, definitely one of those you're going to be doing. I know you've picked out before, China, that it's really good. you know grilled fish, mm. uh, hors d'oeuvres, light appetizers. Very, very subtle. light, and smooth. Very yeah. light. The mm. Viognier, it's a bigger body, uh, bigger body wine, but mm. with the blend, I think it actually has a nice balance. I'm not a fan of whites typically, but this is a good one. What's the price point on that? Mary? This is uh, this is $16.99. Okay. And uh, I believe Gigal was given the uh, was a third, um, basically considered the third best wine winemaker last year. Cool. Okay, John's a fan of reds, and we've got two of them. Yes, we have Lafleur Malbec, which uh, really excited about. This is a thirteen ninety nine. Was like ninety one on Parker, and um, this presents with some like blueberry. Uh, actually, has a little light cherry. You're going to get some smokiness when you try this, but it does present good fruit, and there's a little bit of caramel. And this is definitely your grilled meats if you want to break out the grill. You know, mm. this weekend, yes. if we have some decent weather for it, this is definitely a wine that can go with uh, any kind of grill. Yeah, grill I meat. really got into the Malbox this summer. Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't had too many that I didn't like myself personally. Some of them might not have as much body. This one is actually pretty fantastic. This one's amazing. And $13.99, you can't really beat mm. that mm -hmm. price. Good. John, can you uh, see yourself drinking this on, um, on grill night? I can see myself drinking this just about every night, China. That is good. It's really good. That would like go it. really good with the grilled uh, steak. Oh, yeah. For sure. And this last one is Liberty School Cabernet. Um, it's a Paso Robles, which is an American viticultural area. And basically, this is going to present with darker fruit than the previous, but also good for like a grilled sirloin or lamb chops, actually even chocolate truffles. Oh. There's a little bit of chocolate at now the end of this. you're talking my language. Some mm -hmm. dark cherry, some dark blackberry, and oh, plum. Yeah. Very dark in the glass as well. And this is a $13.99 wine. The wines I'm showing this week are all under 20. All have been rated either 90 or better on one of the major publications. So either Parker, Enthusiast, so or Spectator. I think I like that even more than the Mobok. Yeah, that's a very solid cab. It was, I think, uh, Best Buy 90 on Consumer Reports Best Buy. Mm. Mm, we just posted uh, the information on your screen in case you want to jot down some of this information. And of course, you got to see Mario. He's mm. the man. And you are so right on point with these wines this morning.